Sometimes the pros forget to split step, and man, does it hurt their ability to win. Here's Shapovalov versus Medvedev, and Shapo's going to hit a good shot down the line, and then he's going to attack, but he doesn't split step, and because of it, he ends up losing the point. Now, first, this video is courtesy of PTSO on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. Yeah, so when you miss a easy volley that badly, I guess you are going to get pretty mad as a pro and snap your racket against your foot. So they trade shots back and forth. And right here, Shapovalov goes for a beautiful down-the-line backhand and absolutely crushes the ball. And he can sense that Mehdi is in a lot of trouble. And Mehdi's stretching. And what ends up happening is Shapo correctly decides to go forward. Anytime you see that your opponent, you know, is running off to the side of the courts in a lot of trouble, you should attack. But you have to make sure that you split step. And he should be split stepping right now. It is a slight braking mechanism. It allows you to adjust your feet and adjust your cadence of your steps in order to handle the shot. And he doesn't. And because of it, he's completely out of control hitting this volley. And it's why he misses this ball so badly. If you actually look at this, he misses this ball like well inside. You can see the ball landing right there. Well inside the doubles alley, like not even close. And I'm telling you, if he had simply split step, taken two steps and then hesitated with a slight split step, he would not have been really any later hitting this ball. Instead of being here hitting this volley, maybe he's back here. Maybe it keeps him, you know, a foot farther back, 12 inches farther back. It's really not going to make a difference, but he, it is going to make all the difference in him being on balance and getting his feet the way he needs them. And he's completely out of swords, out of whack. And that's actually why he ends up missing. And of course, he absolutely crushes his foot, snaps the racket. You can hear it crack. And then he has to walk over and get a new racket. But what I want you to learn from this video is even the pros forget to split step. You can see he's just running. And I know I'm going to have people in the comment section. I'm probably hurting the algorithm by beating them to it. But people are probably already typing, but Ryan, he's a pro and he was just guessing where the ball was going to go and he did the right thing. No, he didn't. He did completely the wrong thing. You need to split step in order to handle. Should you go this way? Should you go forward? Should you go directly to your left? Should you go slightly forward into your left? You've got to split step as your opponent hits the ball so that you're on balance. He didn't split step and that is the reason why he missed this volley. Okay, now hold up. I just heard something from someone in the crowd right near the camera, and I want you to try to catch it. He said, oh, he didn't get there fast enough. I would argue he got there too fast, and he needed to split step. I want you to listen to the comment made by someone in the crowd. And he says it right after Shapo misses the volley. Listen carefully. Now, if you'd love to use the same strategies the pros use to win their matches, then you got to pick up the singles playbook by Fuzzy Yellow Balls. It's all broken down by the type of opponent you play against, and it's over 50 pages, strategy after strategy, and what's really cool is each page comes with a QR code, so you can watch a video of exactly how to use each strategy. Just use my link in the description and pinned in the first comment. And if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you're looking for a league that's close to you at your level, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Player Court, and it's playercourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. So pretty interesting, the guy in the crowd who mentioned that he broke his racket <laughs> right before then, he's the guy who mentioned that he didn't get there fast enough. 
I would completely disagree. He actually was too far up, too early, and out of control. He needed to split step. When you get your opponent in trouble and you decide to go forward, take two steps and then split step. You'll be on balance and you won't miss these easy volleys. You make this correction and you split step, unlike Chapo in this particular situation, there's no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.